King Robert was defeated, but there were more heroes whose life the ultimately vindictive evil was after. Here in the Swamplands, the demigod Krotos was just leading the Alliance's troops against feral Naga clans. They had retreated here after the collapse of the Dark Army. It would seem sensible to first strike an alliance with these Nagas before the impatient evil squared up against Krotos. Gold Greedy Evil built the first underground treasury, thus laying the foundations for insane amounts of hoarded treasure. Payday. The first brewery was built underground. Later, orcs and goblins would get obscenely drunk there and then meander through the dungeons, slurring their words and singing lewd songs. The Alliance had discovered the presence of the ultimate evil. This had nothing to do with a tip-off from a certain narrator who wanted to increase the tension. It was pure coincidence. The good people responded, as you might expect, with a direct attack on the dungeon.
Some creatures had been hiding in a secret room. They joined the ultimate evil. Some creatures had been hiding in a secret room. They joined the ultimate evil. Enemies have entered the dungeon. It's payday. From the Dungeons 2 strategy guide, Nagas are ranged units and can detect invisible creatures. Heroes have entered your dungeon. It's payday. Tinkerer's cave had been built. Soon traps and doors in the dungeon would make any would-be hero's life more tricky.
pleased Evil's hard-working goblins had made plans for a new room, a guard room. There, creatures could patrol and keep a lookout for heroes. Immediately, the ultimate evil got down to having this room researched. Out there, the swamplands looked bleak and unfriendly. Not an area Charlie would serve it. Spiders have spread throughout the underground. Payday! hospital had been built. From now on, wounded monsters could be cured there. Some creatures had been hiding in a secret room. They join the ultimate evil. Heroes have entered your dungeon. The target of the bloodthirsty evil's vengeance was a demigod by the name of Krotos, an extremely goody-goody, good deed-doer. The very mention of his name left anyone from the dark side with a nasty taste in the mouth. Payday! Thank <laughs> you. 
the Exploration Keen Evil sent its troops to the surface for the first time. The swamp lands spread out before them. The next step was to either find the Nagas and recruit them, or be massacred by the Army of the Alliance. It was a difficult decision. In the distance, the ultimate evil's creatures could see a massive stone building. A Naga temple? Apparently, there was an entrance to it in the north. The horde set out in that direction. The creatures of a suspiciously suicidal evil made their way towards a treacherous ambush. At the last minute, however, they changed their minds. Apologies, I thought that the horde would take a different path because there is an ambush awaiting them here. But obviously, that doesn't seem to be bothering someone at all. Payday! There are enemies in your dungeon. The army of the ultimate evil could view the temple from the top of the hill. And it did indeed not look good for the Nagas. The nauseatingly good hero Proto has personally led the Alliance into battle and was forcing the snake creatures to retreat. Only his death would deliver the temple back into the hands of evil. Well, that could be a okay. The troops of the ultimate evil stumbled upon a patrol of the Alliance that had caught some Nagas. Of course, they immediately set about wiping out the much-hated heroes. Oh, and by the way, you could of course also set those Nagas free. Spiders have spread throughout the underground. The last fight in the patrol was defeated. Creatures of the Horde cheered. Oh yes, and set the Naga free as well. They were overjoyed to join the ultimate evil. The eager for new units evil sent his creatures further towards where it expected the Naga camp to be. The Nagas kept up their fight to free their unholy temple from the Alliance. If the ultimate evil was to help them win it back, then their support would be guaranteed. Since that fitted perfectly with the planned revenge on Krotos, it was the ideal solution. Your throne room is under attack.
It's payday. The fingers of a goblin devoted to the unspeakably evil impatiently tapped on the workbench. He was still awaiting orders to begin researching the guardroom. Of course, he did it behind the lame evil's back, as, after all, he didn't want the hand of terror to torture him in a most unpleasant way. The ultimate evil has discovered a rat's nest. The approaching horde startled a few animals. Dinner. The guardroom was researched and ready for construction. The creatures that were thrown there by the Hand of Terror would keep watch and be especially vigilant for intruders. They were able to alert other creatures near the guardroom and summon them for reinforcement as well. Enemies have entered the dungeon. It's payday. The horde defeated the bears with ease and stocked up on bear meat. However, as bear meat is not actually a resource in the game, this was utterly irrelevant. A small group of Alliance troops had gathered here. The presence of the Nagas ensured that the all-seeing evil could see even the cloaked units.
It's payday. At last, the Horde reached the Naga's camp. They were not able to offer the ultimate evil much help. However, they spoke of an artifact that was hidden deep down in the mountain. It would make defeating the Alliance a piece of cake. The Nagas opened a portal to the artifact using their ancient magic. The insidious evil debated briefly whether it was worth the risk. Finally, however, it decided it was only a question of its creatures' lives, and of course, the ultimate evil didn't give a toss about them. The Horde had passed through the Naga portal and found themselves in an old altar chamber, in the center of which lay a very ancient looking object. This had to be the artifact. Some creatures appeared to be guarding it. I don't believe it. Is there really still a guard at the artifact? My goodness, my grandma would have finished the whole game by now. Move your butt, do something. Spiders have spread throughout the underground. Once the artifact guards were eliminated, the artifact began to glow. It almost seemed to be waiting to be picked up. It looked as if the artifact would fit perfectly into the mysterious altar base that lay deep within the dungeon of the ultimate evil. Maybe it would be a good idea to face it there. The artifact was currently lifeless. It needed some magic. The expanding evil's creature's next task was to expose some mana crystals. This mana would be necessary to charge the artifact up.
mana crystals had finally been dug up. Magic crackled in the air. Oh no, wait, that's just the popcorn I'm making. But a mana crystal on its own was really of no value to the ultimate evil. It would take a crystal chamber to make this valuable asset usable. A room was quickly installed under the crystal. The crystal chamber shone with the brilliance of a freshly painted room. To exploit this effectively, the success enabling evil was now able to recruit Nagas. At this exact moment, the clan conveniently placed some of these snake-like beings at its disposal. Apparently, it had not escaped the notice of the Alliance's magicians that something disturbing was going on in the underground. So they decided to mount powerful attacks on the dungeon. But the ultimate evil had been warned, that's what I'm doing right now by the way, and created such a formidable defense that it would have brought tears to the eyes of any tower defense player. Heroes have entered your dungeon. A cry for help from a few Nagas trapped in a very remote area reached the ultimate evil while it was defending the dungeon. Maybe they could be saved by using a spell, which was ready to be unlocked in the crystal chamber. The artifact continued being loaded with magic. It would soon be ready. Payday. The wave-by-wave -wave tactics of the Alliance had so far proven unsuccessful. So, a strategic genius had decided to open up a second entrance to the underground in order to send, well, wave after wave of units into the dungeon. But surely, the artifact filled itself up with magic.
Heroes have entered your dungeon. Creatures of the unstoppable evil continued work on filling the artifact with magic. Enemies have entered the dungeon. <laughs> the artifact was almost bursting with energy. It was now producing mana independently and ready to stand by the ultimate evil side in the battle for the temple. It also gave the ultimate evil access to a few more magic spells. Now it was time to take the temple and destroy Krotos. The ultimate evil gathered all the troops together to attack in one devastating way. Heroes have entered your dungeon. Heroes have entered your dungeon. Ultimate Evil had learned a spell. This would enable the Nagas to be rescued. It immediately set about doing so. The spell ensured the Nagas' safe passage into the dungeon of the Ultimate Evil. Excellent work. Payday. Thank <laughs> you. 
the unspeakable evil creatures approached the Alliance's camp. An impressive dam towered into the sky in the background. However, this path led to absolutely... Okay, just so that we understand each other correctly, you are meant to attack Krotos and finish him off now. One great final battle and all that. All clear? Then off you go. Ultimate evil, or more precisely its creatures, destroyed the Alliance's camp with the greatest of ease. It considered having a luxury hotel for stressed dungeon managers built there. Some creatures had been hiding in a secret room. They joined the ultimate evil. It's payday. Hmm. It was now time to fight Kratos. After a long pause, the unspeakable evil positioned its army and went into battle against him. Together with its Naga allies, the army of the ultimate evil stormed the Naga temple. The battle began.
payday. enemies in your dungeon. Payday. Oh. 
It's payday. Spiders have spread throughout the underground. Heroes have entered your dungeon. It wouldn't be long before Krotos was defeated. Just a few more blows and he would fall. Hey, wait, what do you think you're doing? Come back, you coward! <clears throat> I mean, seeing that defeat was inevitable, Krotos opted for a strategic retreat, leaving the temple in the ultimate evil's power. The gathered evilness then burst the nearby dam and the Alliance's camp disappeared under waves of water with a very satisfactory gurgling sound. Despite the soggy end to the Alliance, the ultimate evil was livid. It had just been robbed of a delicious revenge. But, if I may be so bold, that was yet to come. I saw it in the script. <laughs>